dear students in last module we started an example of insertion sort and in today's module we will try to complete that example by going into the details of each and every step that how that list is going to be sorted so remember we had these five names fred alex tiana byron and carol and we wanted to sort it in the ascending order which means the name which is uh, alex which is the minimum name or starting with the letter a will be placed on the top followed by b baron and c carol d diana and f fred so the procedure we discussed was that first of all we will consider that the topmost element is in the sorted order and we will consider the next uh, sub list as unsorted list and we will pick the topmost element from the unsorted list and we'll try to put it or compare it with the topmost element which is available in the sorted list and we will continue this process so let's continue it with a proper example let's do it we have basically the list fred alex diana byron and carol so we are at the moment here so first of all we consider and to read this picture is that anything which is displayed with the white background is actually sorted and anything with a blue background is unsorted so at first place the top mode sorted has been white background and this one is unsorted and similarly you will see it in the next all of the iterations so first of all we have picked alex from here because this is the topmost element from the unsorted list and we have compared it with the fred when we compared with the fred we found that alex is less than fred actually how it is done at the back end side is based on the ascii codes which we learned in the initial modules the ascii code of alex are compared with the ascii codes of fred so this process goes in the following direction that the ascii code of a is first compared with the ascii code of f so ascii code of a is 65 and the ascii code of f is of course greater than 65 so b has 66 c has 67 d has 68 and f has 69 so 69 is greater than 65 so which means fred is greater so this is basically the back end process and when it found that this is greater this put alex upward and fred downward so here we need one location where we can put alex so that this location becomes empty and here we can put fred so this mean we need only one location as a temporary location where we can store alex for few moment of time so that the second number location is free to be placed fred at the proper location and the first location is now available which is in which we can put alex so we have put alex over here and you can see that this temporary location is now empty it doesn't contain anything but in future we could put some other things in this location so this would be only one location so the next step would be that you can see in the second step now we are going over here so alex and fred are sorted and diana byron and carol are unsorted so we will pick diana the first element from the unsorted list and we will put it in the temporary location and we start comparing with the a so uh, alex so diana the d in the diana will be compared with the a in the alex and it will found that 
D is has greater ASCII code as compared to A. So this means Diana is greater than Alex. So it will say, okay, Fred, you should move downward. So it moved Fred over here. And there is only one location where the Diana can be placed. So after the conclusion of second step, Alex, Diana, and Fred are actually sorted. And the list in the blue background here, Byron and Carol, is unsorted at the moment. So then the third step is we are have Alex, Diana, and Fred as a sorted and Byron, Carol as unsorted. So we are picking Baron from here. And then we are putting their dead baron in the temporary location. And then we start comparing with the Alex. So when we compared it with the Alex, we found that the baron is greater than Alex. So this means we need a location over here. So we inserted this over here by moving all of the elements downward. So Fred is going downward. Diana is going downward and we have the empty location over here where we will put Baron. So we are not going into very much technical details of this insertion sort that how actually it is doing and comparing the values from top to bottom or bottom to top. But at the moment we are just concerned about that how this algorithm is working and then at the end of this third step Alex Baron, Diana Fred is basically sorted and Carol is not sorted. Then the Carol is picked up and the location is found and that Carol is put in that location. And after the execution of this fourth step, all of the list is already sorted in a proper order. So if we conclude today's topic, we have learned a practical example of insertion sort and uh, we have applied the philosophy which we learned in the previous module that how actually the insertion sort is working and how it is helping us to sort the elements properly.